There oh, you go. So, <laughs> just for the camera, grab your towel, hold either end of the towel, step on the centre of it. So, for this whole round, the towel, the leg that's stepping on the towel is the one we're working. Okay, we're going to try and find our glutes. So what I want you to do is, as you're pushing down on the towel with that leg, this leg at the back, that's mm -hmm. just supporting you, okay? A little bit of assistance. I want you pulling up on the towel with your arms, and that's going to get your lats engaged. And as you're pulling up with the lats and engaging there, you've got to be pushing the towel away with your foot, okay? So you should start to feel it in the glutes of the leg that's on the floor. Maybe, maybe you've not quite activated it yet, but we're gonna focus our energy there. We're gonna try and hold for a little bit longer. Try and do 15 seconds. Once you find that tension, push it away with your foot, pull back on it with your arms, engage the lats. Then with your object, so if you're using a kettlebell, you could use a rucksack if you wanted. You're gonna go into deadlifts. It's my rucksack. So single leg deadlifts, which we did last week, but I want you focusing on that same leg you've just worked on with the towel. So you'll put the towel down now. If you're gonna do a kettlebell, just this is just a little warm up. We're going to go into, try and do 10 deadlifts now. Still focusing on the glute that was on the, um, on the leg that was pushing the towel away, that was stepping on the leg. That's uh, stepping on the towel, sorry. Then from there, keep holding on to the weight. Still a single leg. We're going to lunge back. And we're going to step up as fast as we can with that same leg. So we're going to try and do 10 to 12 lunges now. So we're really loading up that one side. So you've done your deadlifts into a lunge, looking for 10 to 12 reps. Again, if you were doing this with a rucksack, you'd just be holding it in the front. And the last one, I'm going to do my glute bridge on the floor. So all I'm going to do, lie down. So the leg that I was working on is now going to be the one raising the hips up. And you don't have to go far. Just keep focusing. If you want, um, Anna, Yeah. could you just do a little demo there? If you've got a little bench, if you can see what Anna's doing, she's keeping the weight on her lap. So she's working her left hand side. So she's gonna push up through that left leg 10 to 12 times. If you've not got anything to lean on, coming from the ground, this might mean you do a few more reps, or maybe quicker reps. I'm going to go through and we're going to do that on the other side. Everyone gone. <laughs> So we're trying to keep those reps, keep moving through the movements as quickly as we can to load that muscle. So we're gonna swap sides now, starting with the towel. So take hold of the end of the towel, step on the middle of it. So I'm working on my right hand side now. So I'm pushing the towel away. I'm pulling it, not by bending my arms, not by bending my arms, by engaging through my lats. Okay, my left leg is now just the support. You might find that this side 
lights up a lot quicker or you might find that you have a little bit of a weakness maybe you can't find this side as well so 15 seconds as max tension as you can push that towel away engage through the lats the next one once you've done that is deadlifts so whatever object you've got keeping the same leg on the ground we're going to go through you can do a little pause at the bottom if that helps you find a little bit more tension So we're looking for 10 to 12 reps here. For me, this side lights up a lot quicker. I can feel this side working. So I know that my left side is possibly not, not doing a very good job. I need to focus on that side a little bit more. After that, keep the same leg on the ground and come down into a lunge. Stand up nice and fast. So here, lunge come through really squeeze the glute should be feeling fairly uncomfortable looking for 10 to 12 reps last one would be coming down into that glute, glute bridge position. So if I've just got the ground, keeping that leg on the ground that I'm working and pushing through the floor to lift my hips up. Add weight if you want. Have you come to do a workout? So on the glute bridge, I'm not having to lift my hips very high, but linking those reps together fairly quickly and holding the tension is fairly effective. I'm uh, a little bit out of breath too. Anna, are you? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh good. How did that how did that feel? I think after yesterday and then get into it today, like Can yeah, you I could definitely feel it like working. They're engaged, which is quite good. <laughs> good stuff. What we're going to do now is if you've got your backpack or whatever object, we're going to take hold of it. We're going to hold it overhead. We're going to do a 60 second hold into a good morning, but it's just going to be a body weight good morning. So if you imagine you've got the dowel on your back or you're holding at your hips here, we're just going to hinge forward. Okay, on my bibber. If you get your object that you're holding, gonna hold overhead, and off we go. So we've got our overhead object. I'm gonna make sure I'm not arching massively through my back. I'm bracing through my obliques. Trying to find outward thickness through the core rather than lifting my chest up and arching through my lower back uh, halfway there keep holding keep holding 10 seconds Three, two, one, good stuff. 
So coming into that good morning position, I'm gonna make sure I'm bracing outwards rather than just blowing my belly forward. I'm gonna brace that way into my hands, feeling the tension at the back as well, so where my thumbs are too. And then from there, I'm just gonna fall forward, hoping that I'm pivoting at my hip, working on keeping that nice and strong. So what we're look, not looking for here is a massive sending of the hips back, but an actual pivoting, pivot, 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 pivot. And then come up, use your breath. Rest there, good stuff. Uh, grabbing your towel. We've lost Sarah. I'm back. Hey. <laughs> uh, Sarah, oh, you missed the overhead hold with straight arms for 60 seconds. Right. And a 60 second uh, hinge, okay. basically. Hello. Sorry, oh. we, we saturated our uh, wireless connection, I think, three of us. So. It wasn't me, I wasn't here. <laughs> No probs. Um, so if you've got your towel, um, I want you to make a loop like this. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to pretend this is my foot. Um, so starting my left side, I'm going to pop this bit on my ankle. Oh, Anna, you could do a little demo. And the bit I'm holding here, I'm going to tread on with the other hand. We're going to play with this position a little bit. Um, Anna, are you going to stay? Obviously, if you need to, you can use the side. Are you going to stay in an upright position? Yeah? Oh, there we go. So if you need to hold on. Think of it as curling. It's a hamstring curl. Curling your heel towards your bum. You're not going to be curling. All you're going to be doing is holding. You're standing on the towel and the towel is giving you resistance, and that is what is hopefully going to build up tension in the back of the leg. Yeah, you might get some glute tension as well, but it's um, it's definitely a hamstring uh, burner. I found that being in a more upright position, I could find better tension. I think Anna enjoyed that one. So yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tread on one end. Where the loop is, I'm going to put my heel in there. So I'm pulling up on the towel. This foot is staying planted. So now I've shown you that. I have to stay for this one. It's in a fairly upright position. So I'm pulling that towel up towards my bum as hard as I can. Obviously the foot that's on the ground is just weighing it down. So just like you can see Anna doing here. Yeah. Yeah. So pull, pull, pull. Really kick that heel. Try and get that heel to touch your bum. Obviously it's not going to touch your bum. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Focusing on the hamstring, you might, if you try really hard, get it to cramp. Should feel pretty uncomfortable. Who's sweating? Anyone sweating? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'm really trying to focus on the inner side of that hamstring as well. See if I can find a connection there. And rest, we're going to swap sides, so let's create that loop, if we've lost that little loop, popping the heel in the towel. Does it feel any different? Does this side light up quicker? Do you feel it? Do you start to feel it somewhere else? Maybe um, 
So we were playing with that hinge position. So if I'm in more of a hip hinge, can I feel the tension more or does standing up allow me to feel that tension more? For me, in this upright position, I can feel a lot more tension in the back of the leg there. Just watch what your foot's doing as well. So if you find that you're kicking your toes to the left or to the right, have a play with that. Maybe by turning them in, you can feel the inside. That's what I think would happen. If you flick your toes out or turn your foot away from the body, do you get it more in the outside of the leg? That's what I'm getting. Like mine's starting to shake now. And the leg that is on the floor is obviously a little bit fatigued as well from having done that work. You can have a bit of a feel of your legs as well. So as you turn the direction of your foot, do we get what we mean by turning the direction of the toe? So either turning it in towards the body, you feel the inside of the leg potentially more. Turn the toes away, you possibly feel the outside of the leg more. Whew. Cool. All righty. So, we're going to go... That was our little warm-up. A little bit of holds. Um, let's stick to... Let's stick to mountain climbers. There is an option to go for a 200 meter run if you want. Um, so it's 50 mountain climbers or a 200 meter run. Then we're gonna go into, I'm gonna show you this now, three movements. It's a deadlift, clean and jerk, thruster. And the reps are 10, eight, six. So 10 deadlift, eight clean and jerk, six thrusters. And um, if you've got a dumbbell, you can do it with a dumbbell. Um, I'm gonna do it with the rucksack. Do a little bit of a demo with the rucksack. I'm just going to put you over here. So, mountain climber down into your plank, and I'm going to. Raise the knees up 50 times. Once you've done that, you're going to go into three rounds, but we've got a five minute time cap. These are the movements. 10 deadlift, so here. Should be able to feel the hamstrings working, hopefully. Into eight, clean and jerk, so here and then send the weight overhead. It doesn't have to be too heavy. So there's your clean and jerk. Then into a thruster. So we're gonna sit down and then send the weight up overhead. 10, eight, six. So it's, uh, so it's mountain climbers and then the 10, eight, six, all in five minutes, three times. Um, three no. rounds of that. We're gonna have a little rest after our 50 mountain climbers. I'll count you in. All right. Okay. okay. So let's go for our 50 mountain climbers in five, three, two, one. Off we go. Stuff. So 30 seconds. We're going to try and do three rounds of the 10 deadlift, eight clean and jerk, six thrusters. 10, eight, six, 10, eight, six, 10, eight, six. 15 seconds.
five, three, two, one, off we go. Good stuff. So 10, 10 to deadlift. If you're using a rucksack, you can use both hands. If you're doing single, you can split the reps in half. So you can do five on the left arm, five on the right arm. Last one, the six thrusters. Straight into our second set of deadlifts. So if you've got a single object, you can do five on the right. And five on the left. In duck, you can do a little swing, send the weight overhead. Four on one side. And then four on the other. And then same with the thruster, so you can do three here. Yep. Top sides. And do three here. Two and a half minutes. Plenty of time. If you've got a heavy dumbbell at home, if anyone's watching this back, you could do a uh, dual-handed deadlift. Really make sure you've got a good grip on the dumbbell. Don't drop it on your feet. Hopefully in these deadlifts from that warm-up, you can really focus on the hamstrings. Now you know what they feel like. And we can then turn this into a clean and press. And then again, you could do dual or holding it with both hands, turning it into a thruster for six reps. One minute, 10 to go. We'll have a little bit of a rest. Nice work, Sarah. Awesome. All in. Okay, so I'm just going to send you, uh, I'm just going to take you through the next one. So again, it's another five minute time cap. There's a 200 meter run or 50 mountain climber buy-in. Um, we'll get that done. We should get that done in 60 seconds. So whatever time you have remaining will be the rest. And then the five minute time cap will start just like we just did. So rep scheme is the same, 10, eight, six. 
So we've got a front rack squat. So if you've got your rucksack, keep uh, the elbows from touching the body. Think about a strong thoracic. So we're going to go 10 front squats. Into eight, shoulder to overhead. So you can use any press. You can use a push press, a push jerk. Or if you want to split jerk, six reps. And then we've got an overhead lunge. You're going to sub the overhead portion of the lunge if you need to. Just flip this down slightly. So, overhead here. If you need, you can bring it to a front rack lunge. Or you can hold it over the shoulder and lunge. And you might swap, swap shoulder halfway through. You can use it as a bit of a, a technique thing, dip, drive, and catch on the other side, go into your next set of lunges. Three reps. Alrighty. So let's get into our 50 mountain climber position. All right, five, three, two, one. 50 mountain climbers or a 200 meter run. Awesome, good stuff. 20 seconds. So again, five minute time cap. Um, if you are using a rucksack, just make sure you've done all the uh, straps up so they don't whack you in the face or in, catch you in the eye. So it's 10 front squats. So you'll be holding the weight in the front squat position. 10 seconds. Here we are. Three, two, one, off we go. So it's 10 front squats into eight shoulder to overhead. And we've got our six overhead lunge. Go back to our front squat. Make sure all your zips are done up. If you've got a sandbag or D-ball, you could use that. But the idea is that it's not too heavy and you can blitz through these reps. So if you're using 
a slightly different object, dumbbell. I'm really focusing on that work we did in the warm up. Try and feel it through the hamstrings. One too many. Good stuff, two minutes to go.